Hi, it's Robin. I've got here a box of 3.17 centimeter single sided diskettes. What? <laughs> I've been obsessed with this box of discs since my friend Ken, who runs the Canadian Retro Things channel here on YouTube, showed them in a video last year, along with a bunch of other Tandy Radio Shack stuff he had picked up. I've been watching eBay constantly for my own box of 3.17 centimeter floppies since then, about nine months now, but not a single one has turned up. Seems that these are rare. So I asked Ken if he'd lend them to me next time he was in town, and Ken will be making a quick appearance later in this video. So make sure you say thanks when he shows up. So you can see it also says five and a quarter inch discs which is a very normal size of floppy disk. Now if we look inside, sure enough, they just appear to be regular five and a quarter inch disks. New Coco programs, Coco games, Color DOS, OS 9. Unfortunately, I don't have a working Coco disk drive. So I won't be able to try these discs out. I guess you might think that 3.17 centimeters is just the metric equivalent of five and a quarter. But if you're the sort of nerd who regularly does calculations in your head, you probably know that there's about two and a half, 2.54 centimeters in an inch. So five and a quarter inches should be around 12 or 13 centimeters. 3.17 centimeters is just a bit more than one inch. So this is obviously some sort of metric conversion gone wrong. Big deal, right? Well, I love stuff like this. I don't know if I'm the only nerd who has such fun with this, but signs with terrible spelling, obviously incorrect information, product labeling that makes no sense, I absolutely love this stuff, and thanks to Jason Compton for these photos, he sends this sort of stuff whenever he sees anything like it in his travels. But back to the old 3.17s here, how'd this happen? Well, blame Canada, specifically Radio Shack Canada. While the parent company Tandy Corporation is based in the USA, they had many international divisions known as Tandy or Radio Shack, depending on the country. Here in Canada, it was Radio Shack. They seemed to be kind of overzealous with their Canadianization of many of their products. And that happened in three main ways. They would put metric on their products, even when it didn't particularly make sense or wasn't required by law, which was the case for these floppy disks. They would also adapt spelling to the Canadian standard, especially the word color, which we spell with a U, but in sort of a half-hearted way. Ken will show an example of that later. This is also not a legal requirement. And the third thing that they did with the packaging was that they had to add French, such as this mini disc day three point whatever. <laughs> Do you say that C? I don't know. Cote? And that actually is legally required to sell products in Canada. We have laws about that since we have two official languages, French and English. But it is true that Canada has adopted the metric system. It goes way back to about 1970, 1971, even before I was born. But we didn't do a very thorough job of it. Fifty-something years later here, we still use a strange mix of both metric and imperial units. So just to look in this week's flyer from the grocery store I usually shop at, since we're metric, we do buy our rice by the kilogram and ketchup by the liter, but we buy oranges in three or five pound bags and potatoes in 10 or 20 pound bags. And we're told the price of most produce, such as these tomatoes, by the pound. But when we buy a box of frozen chicken, it says it's five kilograms, and yet we're told the price per pound. Pretty weird. 
And some other examples are vehicle speed limits are posted in kilometers per hour and our gas is sold by the liter, but people's heights are usually given in feet and inches and weights in pounds. Lumber is measured in feet as well. We also heat our ovens in Fahrenheit, but we talk about the weather in Celsius unless we reach a significant number in Fahrenheit like 90 or 100 degrees. Hot enough for you? Welcome to Canada, eh? So that's why Radio Shack would try and sell 3.17 centimeter <laughs> 3.17 centimeter discs. And this wasn't the only case. Here's a box of 13.33 centimeter discettes, or mini disc A, eh? mini disc. They're also doing the silly hundredths of a centimeter. So let's do some calculations. I'm going to use my Radio Shack calculator here. Model 65-660. It uses D batteries. So about that 13.33, if we multiply that 5.25 inches by 2.54 centimeters to an inch, now that would have been hilarious if they put 13.335 centimeters on the box that's thousandths of a centimeter, or hundredths of a millimeter. But since they just wanted it to two decimal places, 13.33 is wrong. If we switch over to fix two mode and multiply 5.25 times 2.54, we actually get 13.34 because it rounds up. And it seems they just truncated. Now, this is where you could imagine using centimeters as your unit for these discs could actually cause problems. Say you wanted a box of discs in the 80s and you ask your mom, Hey mom, can you buy me a box of 13.34 centimeter discettes when you go to the store? And then she returns home later with no discs. Sorry, honey, they only had 13.33 centimeter discettes. I didn't think they'd fit. And you go, oh, that Radio Shack, they don't round properly. So this is why when something is designed in a particular unit measurement, it makes sense just to stick with those units. 3.5 and 5.25 inch discs are standardized. Just call them that. And Radio Shack also sold a Portavision, a portable television. Back in the 80s, a 5 inch CRT was a very standard size tube for a portable television. It's even what Commodore used in their SX64 computer, the first portable color computer. I don't think it even actually measures exactly five inches. It's more of just a class of size, which makes it extra silly to get all precise with 12.7 centimeters with the conversion. If something's a nice round number of units in whatever it was designed in, I don't know if you could call them native units, design units, or whatever, but if something is five inches, then just call it five inches. Do, do, do. Okay, so that's enough about metric for now, but just to give a couple examples about the translation from USA English to Canadian English, in Canada, we have a real mix of both British, UK English, and USA here. And that's for both spelling and pronunciation. We say aluminum, not aluminium. We spell curb with a C, not a K. And yet I say composite video, not composite video. And when I'm doing math or programming, I call those round things that surround terms brackets, as all my math teachers did. I get a lot of comments about how they should be called parentheses or parenthesis or whatever. But we don't have PEMDAS here in Canada. We call it bed mass. But as I was saying earlier, probably the most relevant word in this context is color. In the Commonwealth countries, we spell color with a U, while in the USA, they don't include the U. It's U-less. So I'm going to send you over to Ken at Canadian Retro Things for a moment, as he has an example of color. Hey there, I'm Ken from Canadian Retro Things. Now, you may be asking yourself, self, 
what is Canadian Retro Things doing in an 8-bit show-and-tell video? Right, I'm in an 8-bit show-and-tell video. Just a second, I'll be right back. That's better. For those of you that don't know my channel, I love all retro computers, but my first love will always be the Tandy Radio Shack color computer. In the Coco community, we have a saying, why did Tandy do that? Because it was cheaper. For instance, all the Cocos made have top badges with the color spelt the American way. One printing for everything. But to sell in Canada, they had to have French on the packaging, so they spelled it both the proper Canadian way and the proper French way. But this is where it gets weird. On the back badge here, they spelt it the French way and the American way. Now this was made exclusively for Canada because it's the only place that required them to put both French and English on it, but they spelt the English color the wrong way. Why did they do that? Well, I have no explanation, but for once, I can finally say not because it was cheaper. Thanks, Ken, for that example. Okay, so back to Ken's box of 3.17 centimeter discs. This is obviously a mistake, but how did this happen? At first, I thought they used some conversion calculation incorrectly. So to stay with the Radio Shack theme, here's my Tandy Color Computer Coco 3. It's a little yellow, but remember, yellow is beautiful. And the other thing is, I haven't gazed at this radioactive green screen for ages. I think I might risk losing my nerd superpowers if I don't get radiated every so often. And look at that cursor go. It's every color. So for the calculation, I thought maybe, you know, normally we should do 5.25 times 2.54, 13.335. Try to figure out how they got 3.17. Well, I thought maybe they just did that backwards, that is the inverse, and divided by 2.54. They did the conversion backwards. Then you get 2.07 centimeters, or I guess 2.06 centimeters, if you're doing Radio Shack style rounding. But that's more than a whole centimeter off, so obviously that's not the problem there. What if they somehow converted from kilometers to miles. That is, they just use the wrong conversion factor. Well, then they'd end up with 3.26. Okay, but then I noticed that that 3.17 centimeters, if you convert that to inches, that's very close to 1.25 inches. That's kind of a round number. And then I noticed that the box on the inches does say five and a quarter inches, not 5.25. So did somehow five and a quarter get mangled into 1.25 or one and a quarter? Confusion over that fraction? I was stuck on it for a bit. So I asked on X Twitter and Vladimir Mizev noticed that if you interpret five and a quarter incorrectly as five, times one quarter instead of five plus one quarter, you do get exactly 1.25. And if you multiply 1.25 times 2.54, you get 3.175. And if you do Radio Shack style rounding, that is exactly the 3.17 that we've been looking for. <laughs> it's funny that really that should round to 3.18 centimeters. So they're making mistakes on their mistakes. But anyway, that is where 3.17 centimeters comes from. I'm almost certain. So thanks very much to Vladimir for helping solve that. And by the way, the 3.17 centimeter discs, the 13.33 centimeter discs, and even the US 
five and a quarter inch box of discs all have the same Radio Shack product code of 26-406. So it's clear that they do intend this all to be the same item. These are just localizations of the same item. And actually it's funny that the 13.33 centimeter box actually says five dash one quarter inch. They've added a hyphen or dash or whatever you want to call it, a, a minus sign between the five and the one quarter. While the American version that just says five and a quarter and the 3.17 centimeter box we have here, they don't have that dash between the five and the quarter. Did they add that dash to indicate that no, you don't multiply these mixed fractions together, right? Like five and a quarter is not equal to five quarters. It's actually equal to 21 quarters. Not that the hyphen or minus really clarifies that, but it would make somebody who thought that five and one quarters is just equal to five quarters, right? <laughs> It'd make them think twice having that minus or hyphen in there or dash or whatever. Okay, so thanks again to Ken for lending me these discs. Make sure you check out Ken's channel for more Tandy fun. And he also has a growing Commodore computer collection, Pets, Commodore 64, VIC-20, and many others. I always have a fun, relaxing time when I watch Ken's videos. Okay, thanks to my patrons for their support. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.